right, welcome in hockey fans. It's uh, almost hockey season, but right now I'm inside the HyperX Arena, uh, the eSports Arena in the beautiful Luxor Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada. Scott Strandy with you here um, for good reason. It's Giving Day. It's UNLV Rebel Hockey Giving Day. Uh, Nick Raboni is going to join us. When he does, a couple of other players are going to join us, and we're going to talk about what this all means to their program. I will give you a heads up. Nick told me that this was not his original idea, that he uh, actually found this idea from our good friends in Liberty and Kirk Handy. So, Kirk, shout out to you for uh, for getting a little influence in over here in UNLV. And we know you're coming out here anyway to play. So we'll look forward to visiting with, uh, with uh, Nick Ravoni, the associate head coach from UNLV, in just a minute or two. All right, welcome in, hockey fans. It's not often that I get to spend a day in Vegas. And if you can see me, we're all red. Everything is red here. It's rebel red. Scott Strandy with you at the beautiful Luxor Hyper X Arena, um, eSports Arena, whatever you call it. Nick Raboni is with me, the associate head coach with UNLV. Nick, tell me what's going on behind us. Yeah, we're very fortunate to have a great community here in Las Vegas. And the Luxor and the Hyper Arena obviously donated this to us. And um, it's, it's Giving Day, so it's our first annual one. Uh, if you look behind you here, you know, you're going to see where we're at as far as reaching our goal of $50,000 since we've been here. Uh, I think the boys have raised about ten grand, so we're pretty happy. And, you know, obviously this is going to run until Sunday as well. Um, but, you know, I think that this is an opportunity for, uh, for our guys to raise a little bit of additional funds for a, a big, big year that we have coming up as far as travel goes, games, and everything like that. Okay, so fill me in about, we know fundraisers, right? You do a golf tournament, I'll be there tomorrow. Um, there's a ton of other things that people do. How did this idea come about? Uh, you know, the ACHA is a pretty small community, so we actually stole this one from Liberty. Nice. Um, so I talked to Kirk a bit about it, and, and um, you know, I gave them some stuff about what we do. So, you know, we want to see every program in our league be successful, and we want to see uh, everybody elevate to, to the standard of, you know, what, what can be considered close to NCAA, right? Um, but Giving Day is, is a big deal, and that's what, uh, what they've done in the past. And we, uh, like I said, we kind of sat down with them. And um, now we're moving into tomorrow, our golf tournament. Huge, huge events that we've done now for seven years. Um, we'll probably raise a, another thirty to forty thousand dollars at that event. And like I said, it's all the community we have. It's the right relationships we've built. Um, but it's a fun event. You know, guys are going to go there, have a great time, and uh, be ready for the, for next year. <laughs> you know, we we have people signing up as soon as we threw the link out there in early June. Okay, so the guys are all here. They're all got their Rebel uh, hockey shirts on, which is. You know, I compliment you guys and other teams about that. If you're serious about this, you got to look the part off the ice as far as play the part on the ice. But they're they're doing things. They're calling their friends, their family. They're trying to get donations brought in. But they're going to have a little fun afterwards, aren't they? They are. I, I think, um, like I said, this is the first time actually we've all been together as a team. So this is a, it's a fun thing to do to obviously um, push each other, raise a little bit of money. Uh, a lot of the things they're doing right now is through social media. Um, and then they'll do this for about an hour and a half, and then they got an hour to, to enjoy this. You know, there's not many teams in, in our league or, or anywhere, for that matter, that get to use facilities like this. So they'll play some video games and have some fun. Okay, so this runs through Sunday. Uh, give everybody the link where they can jump on and they see this and have the weekend to uh, relax and donate some money to Rebel Hockey. Yeah, pretty simple, giving.rebelhockey.com. So anybody can go to that site. You know, like I said, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. It goes a long, long way. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's like I said, it's a, it's a great year for us. We're excited for it. Um, but, you know, everything going on as far as inflation and things like that, uh, everything just becomes a little bit more expensive. And we just appreciate all the donations that have come in so far. Can you wrap it up by giving me kind of a thumbnail of what it costs approximately to run a program like this the way you do? First class travel, where you're going, all that stuff. What what does it cost? It's it's upwards of about four hundred fifty thousand dollars for the year. Um, it's uh, it's one of the things where, like I said, we pride ourselves in running a first class organization, so we don't take any shortcuts. Um, whether it be travel, you know, how we present ourselves, meals on the road, things like that. You know, we set we have a vision here, and we uh, we want to make sure that we fulfill everything that we've talked to our recruits about, um, and that doesn't come without the financial aspect of it. All right, I appreciate you having me in. I will see you at the golf tournament tomorrow. Good luck, and uh, let's see you guys get to that next level as fast as possible. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, folks, that's Nick Raboni, the associate head coach with the UNLV Rebel Hockey Team right here at the Hyper X Arena inside the beautiful Luxor Hotel. We'll be back with a couple of players in just a minute. All right, welcome back in, hockey fans. It's almost hockey season. I got a hockey player with me. No ice. 
but lots of good stuff going on here at UNLV. It's Giving Day. We're back. We just talked to Coach Raboni for a few minutes. I got Hunter Mazzillo with me. Um, Hunter, where do we start on this whole thing? Because uh, we know UNLV hockey wants to be the best at every level and everything they do. But tell us about Giving Day and what it means to you. Well, first of all, it's just good to be back in the town, good to have all the boys back, good to see you guys again. But as for the team, this day means so much to us. You know, it helps us take the next step into achieving what we want to achieve, which, like you said, is being the best at everything we do. No matter what level we're playing at, no matter who we're playing against, we want to put the best product on the ice in a day like this. Uh, our little fundraiser here, uh, it only helps us do that. So everything's appreciated, and we're just trying to have fun with it. Okay, so you guys are about as close as it gets to NCAA hockey without being NCAA hockey. I've seen you on the road. I saw you in Chicago last year. I saw you at the national tournament a year before. I've seen all these different things happen, but how does it happen? Because it's not easy to do this at the, uh, at the level you're at, at ACHA. It takes a lot of work, right? Yeah, I mean, our staff is incredible. The amount of work that they put in behind the scenes is underappreciated at best. So I just want to throw out there our media team, our coaching staff that does a lot more than just coach for this program. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work from top to bottom. And then to bring in, you know, the recruiting class we have this year is pretty unprecedented. We're so excited. You know, you said you liked what we put on the ice in the past. Well, just wait till we get our product on the ice this year. We think it's going to be, there's nothing short of a national championship aspirations for this program, though. Let me ask you that, because uh, one of the things, you can bring all the talent you want, but it's meshing them. You've been around here a while. You know what it takes to mesh them. Uh, Coach Raboni told me last night on the uh, podcast that um, it's about meshing all year long from start to finish. It's not about picking it up when the practice starts or all that. How do you do that as an upperclassman here? Well, I think it starts with the coaching staff, you know, making sure that the guys that they're bringing in are bought into the culture and they're good guys and they're going to mesh well in the room. That's part of their job, and I think they've done an excellent job at that. I've gotten to meet a lot of the new guys coming in, and they seem like excellent guys, and so I don't think we'll have any problem there. But just setting the culture right away, having good hard practices, good competition. Everybody's always going hard. Every inch matters on the ice, and just making sure that that's well known throughout the room. And you know, getting outside the rink and doing stuff with the guys as well, that's a good way to mesh. I know a lot of us love to golf. I've been out with some of the newer guys just yesterday, meeting everybody, getting to know everybody. And like I said before, we're just so excited to get out there, and I don't think we're going to have a single problem with anyone that's new on any regard. Okay, this is a two-part finale for you. Think about this one. The first part is sell us on what's going on here and tell people why they should donate before Sunday night to raise this uh, the dollar amount behind us, which right now is at... 31,747. That's part one. And then number number two, sell us on UNLV hockey and what it what it's like to come here. Because when you leave, you want to carry the tradition on and send more people here. So two-parter. Go ahead. Well, I think I'm going to start with the second one. I'm going to sell you on UNLV hockey first. I mean, even to have this at the level that we're playing at, to be here and be able to do this, I mean, that's something that nobody gets to say. So being a part of this program is entirely special deciding to come be a UNLV Rebel and be a part of this team is the best decision I've ever made. And then you talk about the product that we put out on the ice. You know, last season we had aspirations to go home with the trophy and unfortunately that didn't happen, but it was still an, it was a historic season for our program. At one point we put together a 16 game win streak that included top 10 wins, top 15 wins, top five wins. So this program is ready to leave. There's nothing holding us back anymore. The recruiting class is incredible. The guys that we already have are incredible. So we're just so excited. It's a heck of a group, and we just want to get to work. And if you want to be a part of that, then you can help us in any way you can. Any donation is obviously much appreciated, and we love all of our fans, and we could not do it without you. So the stuff that the, the donations that you give, they help us pay for our ice fees. You know, maybe we get maybe we get Chipotle catered on the road because of the 10, 15, or maybe $20 that you'd give, um, that you'd be willing to give. And it is always appreciated. It helps us travel easier. It, anytime we can travel easier, it helps us play a little looser, play a little better, play a little faster. So if you'd love to be a part of that, we would love to have you be a part of that. Hunter, appreciate your time as always. Thanks for, uh, for doing this, and uh, good luck. Good luck this season. I'll see you on the golf course tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks again, guys, and like I said, it's good to see your faces again. All right, welcome back in, hockey fans. It's hockey season, almost, oh, yeah. and uh, you can't come to Vegas without having a little excitement, and Vegas does it right. So does UNLV Rebel Hockey. Scott Strandy still with you here at HyperX Arena. 
in the beautiful Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas. Uh, you can't talk hockey without talking where the puck stops. So let's get the goaltender in. Vinny Benedito is with me. Vinny, um, where do we start on this? Uh, have you ever experienced anything like this, a gaming fundraiser? Oh, well, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you for having me. But, uh, no, this is so cool. Like, just look where we are. Like, this is unreal. Like, just having all the boys here and doing this fundraiser, it means a lot. So it's it's been a real good experience. Okay, we know to win championships, you got to score goals. But we also know you got to keep the puck out of the net. Tell me about what it means to be a goaltender in the UNLV Rebel Hockey Program. Oh, it's uh, it's been awesome. Last year we had uh, uh, some good goaltending, obviously good players, good forwards, defensemen, but goaltending is so important, and uh, we are great back on the back end. But, uh, no, it's been awesome just, you know, being able to stop pucks for the UNLV Rebels last year. So. Okay, everybody will tell me that it's a team, but we all know that it's going to rest that one guy right in front of that red line, and uh, your teammates will help you. But how do you focus in to make sure that puck doesn't escape you? Oh, it, you know, it's uh, for a goaltender, it's just all about, you know, stopping that first shot and then going from there and just being able to stop pucks for the team and then seeing them score goals, it's uh, it makes it a lot easier for sure. Tell me about playing in the uh, conference that you're in now, the WCHL, yeah. as well as playing at the national tournament. How much experience did you guys gain by uh, being able to compete at that level? Oh, uh, it was awesome. Um, it's a great conference, but, you know, uh, I, we feel like we're the best team in that conference. We feel like we're the best team in the league. So, uh, no, it's been a great experience for sure. Okay, let's talk about uh, today, right? It means uh, raising funds. You guys have a lot of big games ahead of you, a lot of big trips ahead of you. You're going to Alaska. You're hopefully going to Boston for the national tournament. Um, and you're going across the country to play Liberty. I mean, you're going all over. Yeah. How important is today for you guys in your program? Oh, today means so much for us. We have a huge season coming up. And like you said, uh, Alaska, Denver, some big trips coming up. So doing stuff like this definitely helps out for sure. Okay, if you're going to recruit for UNLV right now, for guys to come in, not to take your spot, but to come in and play after you, tell me what you would tell them about UNLV and how important it is for their hockey careers to be a part of this program. I mean, uh, obviously, a uh, great thing is, like, we live in Las Vegas here, so obviously a great spot to play. But, uh, no, the program's just been growing and growing. So, uh, I mean, you can see it on social media everywhere. We had a great season last year. We're going to have a great season again this year. So it's exciting. It's just uh, moving up and up. So uh, it's, it's unreal to see where the program's been going. So I understand you guys broke into teams of four today, uh, eight teams of four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. How, did, uh, how did this team do? Uh, I don't think we did too well as compared to some of the other teams, but you know we we all did it. we d did our part for sure. So it was it was a lot of fun. Okay, folks, you heard it from the goaltender. You can still donate all the way through Sunday night, help this program out. We're at uh, just about thirty-two thousand right now. I think we'll make sure it's at thirty-two thousand before I leave. But um, great stuff, Vinny. Good luck this season, and thanks for stepping in. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, welcome back in hockey fans. Not quite hockey season, but we're getting closer. Scott Strandy with you at the HyperX Arena in Las Vegas at the beautiful Luxor Hotel. You can see me uh, behind me. Uh, the board says 31,956. So a good day of fundraising for UNLV Rebel Hockey. Great idea, great theory. You can hear the music behind me. You see the big boards. Their videos are playing all over the place in this building. The guys are now getting a chance to uh, do some fun stuff and uh, maybe play a few games themselves. Uh, we've been thrilled to be here, my co-host and uh, and uh, cameraman today, Stephen Marsh, the Las Vegas native, helping me out. So shout out to Stephen for uh, all that he does for us. And we are looking forward to a very exciting hockey season, but we can't do it without funds. UNLV can't do it without funds. So you have until Sunday night to go to, I believe it's giving that rebelhockey.com to uh to donate we'll put the link on with the story and uh, we appreciate you uh joining us today